Preparing the surface for block printing. Block printing usually involves applying color to one surface and pressing the color to another. Block printing can be done on all sorts of surfaces like paper, cloth and walls. The type of color or paint you choose will depend on what you are printing. In this unit we will chiefly discuss about the preparation of printing surface. Objectives. After going through this lesson you will be able to understand the steps to be taken before printing, understand the preparation of printing surface. Introduction. A printed textile fabric can be produced by a wide variety of methods. Some of these require expensive equipment, but others used very simple equipments and tools. All methods represent the means of transferring the creative talent of the designer. Historical Background Block printing is an ancient art that has been practiced in India for thousands of years. The documented evidence of this craft is from the times of Alexander the Great in 327 BC when he mentions beautiful painted cottons in India. In fact, historical data suggests that even as far back as the days of the Indus Valley Civilization, block printing was in evidence in India. Self-check question. What is the evidence or rather what are the evidence found in India of block printing? Please try to answer this question and then let us move on. Tools used. We have already discussed about the various tools used for block printing. Colors. Colors used in block printing are according to the surface to be printed. Some of them are poster colors, fabric colors, and pigment dyes. Blocks. These are various types of blocks which are used for block printing with special characteristics of their own. We have already discussed about the variety of blocks. Some of these are vegetable blocks, blocks made of everyday objects like cork, and bottle caps, matchstick blocks and wooden blocks etc. Self check question. Name the colors used for block printing. If you have answered let us continue. Spoons are used to pour the color. Brushes are meant for cleaning of blocks after printing as the color gets inside the crevices of the block and it is very important to clean them otherwise when we use another color the color from the crevices will come on the surface to be printed. Paper or fabric for printing Printing surface. Printing is generally carried out on a very heavily built table, especially when printing a fabric. But of printing on paper or other material, any flat surface can be used. 
as long as it does not wobble the bigger it is the easier it is to print large pieces the printer may work in a standing position it is usually to cover the table surface with a resilient material first several thickness of blanket is carefully laid on the table and the whole is then covered with layers of sheet of cotton fabric which is known as back gray cloth the function of the back gray cloth is to absorb any color that penetrates the underside of the cloth activity take a flat surface table and make a padding of blankets and thick cotton cloth if you have done that let me just quickly sum up what we have read today block printing by hand is a slow process it is however capable of yielding highly artistic results which is not possible by any other means and it is therefore still largely practiced for the highest class of artistic work in this unit the tools required for block printing are first briefly considered followed by how printing surface is prepared possible answers to the self check question the first answer to the self check question was first documented evidence found from times of Ex alexander the great in 327 bc when he mentions beautiful printed cotton in india the other evidence found from the indus valley civilization the second answer was the colors used for block printing are poster colors fabric colors acrylic colors and pigment colors the terminal questions which you could just practice it at home what is block printing write the brief history of block printing second write a note on tools used for block printing thank you